Hello middle school students, my name is Elizabeth Bondren and I'm currently a communications major here at IPFW and a graduate from Snyder High School. Middle school is really where I thought about kind of what I wanted to do and figured out kind of the job path that I wanted to take. So I knew that trying to, be, trying to become what I want to be was going to take a lot of effort on my part. So I started to try and make that happen even before I graduated high school and I found this place called the Career Academy, which is downtown. There, I was able to study filmmaking for two years and I was given many opportunities while I was there to really kind of decide that I like it and I want to pursue it in college. Even if you're not sure what you want to do while you're in middle school, which is understandable, you could still kind of venture out of your comfort zone and go somewhere like the Career Academy just to kind of spark your interest and try and find something that you are interested in. At the Career Academy, you get to experience real world kind of college-like classes while still being able to have that hands-on experience that you don't typically get at regular high schools. So since graduating from Snyder and the Career Academy, I have attended IPFW as a communications major and media production minor, and I was given the opportunity last year from the Career Academy to make these videos to share with all of you guys. So in this video, you guys are about to see some current high school students doing the same kind of thing that I did by venturing out of their comfort zone in their high school and going to the Career Academy and really kind of finding what they want to do while getting the hands-on experience and really enjoying it. Uh, I found out about it my sophomore year. Um, the school has a function where they come in and they try to introduce and pitch anthos to students. Um, after listening to the gentleman talk about all the courses they had, I knew it was something I was interested in, but I wasn't sure if it's something I really wanted to do. After coming here, they proved me wrong and showed that this is a program that I really wanted to join. I found out about this program when I was a sophomore in high school. Um, Mr. Roebuck, an uh, administrator here, came to our class and told us what Anthony was about and I heard my um, job field. A bigger step into my career field is like everything I wanted. Yes, because I stayed out of trouble and got good grades and helped me get in here. Yes, it actually did. I made smart choices in middle school. I um, took like Spanish earlier in like seventh grade year and then when I got into high school I only had to take like two more languages. If you can get things done early then you could have more experience in high school and be able to do more things. Yeah, it did. Um, making smart choices with my grades, you know, they, they, they always say that they look at that and the truth is that they really do, you know, they can definitely go back to your middle school and see. And this place is actually a really big privilege, so they want to know the whole story of you. You know, you've been good, you make smart choices, you made bad choices, you own up to them, stuff like that, you know. Yes, I actually took two years of Spanish in middle school and that counted towards one credit of Spanish in high school. Just all the hands-on work and being able to work as a team on group projects. I like to explore my options and not just uh, stick on one thing. Like last year I took construction, and now this year I'm taking the graphic design to see which one would be a better choice for me. I love having that real uh, work experience that I feel like I'm getting here. I love the hands-on work. I can make feelings, I can do uh, impressions, um, more of the hands-on work. I'll be able to go out to dentist offices and I'll be able to actually work on patients and um, be able to hopefully get a job there after high school. Learning all the different types of welding and actually creating stuff that's unique. I like working on the uh, actual engines, some of the turbine engines, which are jet engines. Um, I like working on those. What I really enjoy is that everything is hands-on. Um, we work, we get to know the kids, we get to work person to person, you know, get on their level, see how they act. My favorite thing about the program is that it's uh, hands-on, like you get to learn a lot of things, most things that you wouldn't learn while you're in like regular school. My favorite part about the program so far is the hands-on 
actual learning. You actually feel like you're in, in my career field, I'm in culinary, and I actually feel like I'm in a real kitchen. I actually feel like I'm actually doing it. And as though I am, it's not like I'm still in high school. It actually feels like college level kind of stuff. And I really enjoy that. Um, this is actually what I want to be, but I still have plans on going to college. But this is a good career choice for me because I get my license when I graduate. Yes, I do. I believe it will. It'll help me become certified and become a better mechanic. After I leave, I plan on going to Indiana State to major in professional flight. In the long run, uh, we're like 10 credits away from an associate's degree since this is our final year in this program. We're like seniors of the associate's uh, degree program here. After high school, I plan on getting my degree in criminology and psychology and look into more of counseling and uh, psychology. Uh, working at the dispatch center once I get certified and then once I'm eligible at 21 to join the police academy, joining there to become a, an official officer. It was a privilege for me to actually be a part of this. I think that what I get out of here most is my professionalism and my skills. In the long run, you'll be able to get certifications that will help you in, later in life to acquire a job. I took extra uh, AP classes, high school credit classes, so that I could wouldn't have to take them in high school, and then that allowed me to come here. I prepared because I really focused on my grades at that point because I knew that you couldn't have bad grades coming to Anthus, and you have to you had to maintain your grades while you're at Anthus. Eighth grade year, I took um, some extra like classes like Spanish and stuff. That way, when I'm uh, in high school, I have more of an open schedule, which gave me time for this in order to free up more time for my schedule so that way I could take this class, I uh, actually took a few classes ahead of time in my eighth grade year so that way I could clear up more time. So making smart choices and pushing yourself to go as far as you can during middle school is something that's very important into getting into Anthos at least. It's helped me because it's made me more organized it's made me a better person. It's kept uh, my morals in check. I just got hired on uh, back in August with New Haven uh, as a probationary volunteer firefighter. I built a drift trike. It's like a big wheel, but with a go-kart motor on the back of it. And I built a custom frame for it. Just being in this class period because it's given me a good experience. It's given me college credits. It's given me hands-on learning that I would need further on in life and it's just a good experience overall. Going to Detroit to the car show and going to Indy 500. Probably seeing the finished product of the big house. Uh, this year it's supposed to be a two-story house. It's going to be really big. For the rest of the school year, I'm looking forward to starting our practicums, getting, getting out to, to the community and working with other kids. Make sure that you guys get good grades, you have good attendance, and you stay out of trouble. Starting in middle school, keeping everything organized and keeping your grades up will help better qualify you for this. Making better choices in middle school, basically your work ethic will typically transfer over from middle school to what you have in high school. You gotta hit the ground running with both, with the same attitude. Um, if, you, if you can do well in middle school, you can do well in high school. Do good in school, pay attention, and sign up as soon as possible. When you get into high school, don't be afraid to keep asking your uh, counselor about Anthus. Just come in, start with something just to pique your interest. Uh, if you want to get into this program, you got to work hard, make smart choices, and not only do you have to have good grades, but you got to have good attendance. Any advice would be to do your best. Like, you have to make sure to push yourself. Really just like passing your classes, really getting good grades, beat the school on time. I'll say, I'll say first look into it early, kind of make your decision if you want to do it or not. And then also, once you make the decision, stick with it and work hard.
What this video and the people in this video are trying to show you guys is the connection between middle school and high school and how your behavior and your attendance and your grades can really affect your high school career in the sense that, you know, if, if you do well, you'll be able to take the opportunities like the Career Academy or other opportunities that other high schools offer and really be able to, you know, do your best. I hope you can see that success for life really does start when you're younger and I just wanted to kind of repoint out the people that you saw in this video are only a few years older than you and you can do everything that they're doing if you really work hard and try your best.